Okay, my friends, today I'm gonna to make one of my favorite soups all year round, it doesn't matter when it is. It's my roasted tomato basil soup with a Parmesan thyme peppered crisp sitting on top. When I told Carl that I was making this for dinner, he literally lit up like a major light bulb. It's something about the roasted tomatoes and carrots that go into this that elevate it to a whole different depth of flavor. Now, I also spun this off of what I made last week, and that was my homemade chicken stock, because that goes into this dish, and that also brings about other flavors in if you were just to use the canned chicken stock. So please watch that video because that's something you can make easily and have on hand all winter long. So what do you say? We get to work. All right, so you take those tomatoes, I core them, then I cut them in half and you throw them onto the baking sheet. Also, I had carrots because carrots add a natural sweetness to this dish and kind of balance out the acidity. And the baby carrots, they were a dollar a bag, so I was being economical, bought those, but you can buy regular carrots, just peel and slice them and cut them into thirds, fourths, or fifths to get them down to a small size. Then I throw on some olive oil, salt, pepper, some cayenne pepper, and then I add just a tiny bit of sugar to a granulated sugar and balsamic vinegar, because think about it, balsamic vinegar goes with tomatoes especially when you kind of put some basil and mozzarella cheese, so it's just a natural thinking in my brain. And then throw them into the oven, roast them 400 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes. Now, while they're roasting, you don't waste any time. We're going to the next step. Okay, I wish you could smell it in here because the roasting tomatoes and carrots, oh, it's such a beautiful thing. All right, on the stovetop, I have my chicken stock, which is now a liquid. In a larger quart pot, probably eight to 10 quarts, I put a couple of tablespoons of olive oil and then a little bit of butter in here. We are gonna cook down our onions, which you just have to roughly chop because we are going to blend or use an immersion blender at the end to really marry all this together. So we're gonna cook our onions again, just a rough chop here. And people think, you know, when you think tomato soup, you think really it's just tomatoes that go into it, but there's so many other flavors and ingredients that bring out that tomato flavor into the dish. And these are just yellow onions. And again, it's a rough chop, we're not mincing them, but if you want to learn how to mince an onion or mince garlic, uh, I showed you a quick tutorial when I did my butternut squash dish and the spaghetti squash dish, so you can look that up in my YouTube videos. And I also put the garlic in here and you got it on medium heat. So all those ingredients go in. And you're gonna just continually stir this and you wanna cook it until these onions are translucent, which give it a little bit more of a transparency look to them, almost like a see-through look. So we're gonna let those cook down and then we'll add a couple more things. I am going to add a half a cup of red wine. Whoa, you put red wine in here? Yes, I do, because I don't know about you, but in my red sauces that I make for pasta, or you call, may call it gravy, I always add red wine to kind of bring out a more colorful flavor in the sauce. So I thought, why not throw some red wine into a tomato sauce? So I put the red wine in there. To that, we're gonna add a tablespoon of tomato paste. So I like to use the tube tomato paste just because you don't always use the whole can and it's a waste. This you can just put the cap on and put it in the refrigerator and it stays there for quite some time. So we're gonna kind of just mix the tomato paste on there, the wine, let that reduce down just a little bit. And once it thickens, then we are going to add our whole tomatoes, basil, and the chicken stock. So now we're gonna add one can of whole tomatoes with the juice and all. And I like to add both canned tomatoes and the roasted tomatoes just to bring two different tomato flavors into the dish here. So we put that in. And this is also the time I put in about two cups, not, you know, almost packed, two cups packed of basil leaves in here. And if you really like the flavor of basil, go ahead and I have another cup, why not? So we put the basil leaves in there and then also we will add our chicken stock, which is a quart equals four cups of the chicken stock. 
in there that is homemade. And we will let that simmer down. And once that is simmered, our roasted tomatoes and carrots will be ready to drop into this dish. So my tomatoes and carrots, they are roasted and finished. Oh, and you, oh, hear that beautiful sizzle. And look how yummy they look. They got a little bit of a char on them. So we are now just going to add all of these right into the soup, which is simmering nicely. And once you get all of this in, you are going to simmer the soup for a good 30 to 40 minutes. While this is simmering, again, not gonna waste any time, I'm gonna make those Parmesan thyme peppered crisps that we are gonna put on top. So let's do that. For these, I got some freshly grated Parmesan cheese. And you're gonna take one good heaping teaspoon. You're gonna place it on a piece of parchment paper on a baking sheet and make as many as you'd like. They are gonna spread out. So, you know, you don't want them too close together. And one here, one there. And then what you're gonna do is take a little bit of fresh thyme. And thyme is one of my favorite herbs. Sprinkle it on top, up here. And then take a little bit of black pepper, sprinkle it on the top. I'll continue to do these to fill the baking sheet. And then we're gonna bake these for 400 degrees since the oven's already there for three to five minutes until they get golden brown. All right, in just a couple of minutes, you've got your Parmesan thyme pepper crisp. We're gonna let those cool, and we will top the soup after we blend it up. All right, so after it's been simmering for about 40 minutes, it's time to blend everything together, marry it, so to speak. Um, and I use an immersion blender. My mother gave this to me, and this is a godsend. If you don't have an immersion blender, because you could do it all in this one pot, you can take it little by little into a food processor or a blender. You don't want to over crowd the blender because the warm liquid is going to expand when you turn it on. So be careful with that. But you just put this in and then it's as simply as just blending all of this together, mixing it to give you that creamy, yummy soup that we all love at heart. Okay, so the soup is completely blended and now it's as simple as ladling yourself a bowl of it. So we'll place a little bit of the soup into a bowl and you top it off with one of those Parmesan thyme peppered crisps that I like to just lay right over the top here and you're good to go. This is also the time to season it. I don't like to put a lot of salt or pepper while cooking because everyone is an individual and they like theirs the way they like it. So this is when you can add some extra salt and pepper into it, and then you're good to go. Mm. You can taste those roasted carrots and tomatoes in this, and this is true comfort food, as Carl likes to call it. And I think he's gonna be really happy when he gets home from work tonight and realizes this is for dinner. Cheers, everyone. Thanks for watching this video. If you wanna learn more or get some recipes, right below me, weatheringthekitchen.com. In addition, check out that video. You may learn something new. Also, hit the subscribe button. I'll push content out every Saturday morning, whether it's in the kitchen, in the garden, or home decor. Don't miss out.